Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be setting this up and it's a quick setup and we're gonna start off with the basics, which is with this guy right here. So first of all, let's just put this on your desk. So it doesn't really matter which desk you guys have, this is pretty big, so it most likely will fit. So let's just open this up and we're gonna just slide it in. So in this case, since this desk is pretty wide, I'm gonna have to open it up the whole way. Then I'm just gonna slide it in and I'm gonna lock this up. Now the way that I am locking this is just by spinning this around until it becomes really, really tight in there. And once it's tight enough, just let it go. Don't force it too much. You don't need that much force. Just make sure it's nice and tight and then we can start off. And yes, you guys can tighten this up or loosen it up later on. Now here it is, nice and tight. It's not gonna move unless I move my entire table. And technically this end will go right in here. However, before we do that, I do have to show you guys this right here. So this is to loosen it up or make it even tighter. So what does that mean? So you may have noticed if you fold this like so, it just snaps back. And that's perfect, that's how it's supposed to work. In order to make this not snap back, you can loosen it up to make it snap back even faster, so watch this. Or I can just tighten it up to make it stay at a certain point. Now it's only gonna stay at that certain point once we put our microphone, that way it's balanced. Also, see that snapping? We can adjust that exactly with this. So that's to adjust the weight basically. Now down here below, it's the same thing. We can loosen this up or we can tighten it up. For now, we're just gonna leave it loose. And I always suggest set up your microphone and then go back to this and see if you need any adjustments. And to adjust it, all we do need is a screwdriver. So from here, we can just loosen this up or make it tighter. For now though, we're just gonna place this on top. And anytime you would like to take it off, yes, all you guys have to do is just take it out. So to make this video easier for me to record, I'm just gonna show you guys here how to set this guy up first. So I'm just gonna place this right here. However, before I place that there, I wanna show you this. See this right here? We can lock this or unlock. To unlock, we just do that and this will move around. We can lock, lock it back up and then it's not gonna move at all. So I'm just gonna unlock it for now. I'm gonna move it like so. That's just to make the setup easier. And then that will be placed right here. And I can just spin this around and there we go. Right now it's nice and locked. So now that this part is done, I can just place my microphone. And to place your microphone, just place it this way and this also came with everything that you guys got with your bundle. So all we have to do is this right here. So we just place it there and just make sure it's nice and tight. And now that it's nice and tight in there, we can go on and place our cable. And here's our cable. So before I place my cable, I want to show you how to adjust the balance of this microphone. So right now this tension might be just good enough for you guys to move this around. I can move it back and forth However, it might be still too much. It might be lifting up too much. I can loosen this up like I showed you guys before, just on the side. And that way, if I loosen this up, this will go back up pretty fast. And I can lock this in, in about there, for example. However, again, the tension might be a little bit too much. Same goes with this. I can adjust my tension right there and keep it right there if I want it to be around there. So yeah. Right now I can move this around and keep it there, there. I can adjust the tension just a little bit. But yes, if you're having problems and this is not just staying where you want, even though this is tight, maybe you want it to be even lower or something like that, then we have to adjust the tension down here below. And that's by taking this out. So what you have to do is just take this out and adjust the tension down here below. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust it. I'm just gonna make it around there. Not a huge adjustment, just a tiny, tiny adjustment. So with the setup that I have right now, it's actually perfect. So if that's what you guys want, keep adjusting it until it's perfect for you guys and you guys can just move it however you would like. So it does depend 
how you guys want to adjust this and make it your own. Now remember that up here, let me just put this down a little bit, you will see this, I can also move this around like so and make it tight and snug just by doing that. So it can make it stay right there. So there's a lot of adjustments that we can do throughout in order to make this perfect according to your needs. Now running the cable is the easiest part because all we have to do is just plug this right here and then just run it through our stand. And yes, I know I keep calling this my stand, <laughs> but it's my boom arm. Now you will see these pieces right here that come along all the way around the boom arm. All we just have to do is just snap it up. It's gonna snap up like so, then we can finally place our cable. I know it's kind of one of those things where you don't want to break it, so you're afraid to do that. However, that's how it works, and then it just locks in. So I can go on for my second one, there we go, and just snap that in, and then go throughout, keep doing the same thing. So we're just gonna open that up, and we just bring that in. Now once we run all this way through, just hook this up to your computer. So here's your USB cable, and this will go into any USB port on your computer. If you guys have a newer Mac, you might need an adapter for a regular USB. It's so most likely you guys have USB-C. So make sure that this is the back for a microphone and this is the front. So the other side is our front and that's where we want to talk to. We don't want to talk to it. We want to talk to it sideways. We don't want to talk straight into it. So what I mean by that is this. So we don't want to do this straight right on the top of it. We want to talk right on the side of our microphone. Now the reason I'm showing you guys this, the back of it, is because for most of you, you will choose this option right here. And that's usually for podcasts. That's when you're getting the sound just from the front of it. If you guys want, let's say, sound coming from both ways, so the back and front of your mic, then you're gonna have to change it to this option right here, which is our very first option. We just turn the knob, and that's our very first option. Now if we turn this, to this option right here, which is just a circle, it's gonna get the sound from all the way around our microphone. And this very first option right here would be to get sound from both sides of our microphone. Now, like I mentioned, for most of you, this will be your setup if you're doing a podcast, gaming, or anything like that. Now, gain, that is something you guys have to play around with to see how much gain you guys want or if you don't want any gain. For me, it's just about there. That level is good enough. Now I did mention this light right here. If it's blinking, then it's muted. Right now it's red, that's perfect. That's what you guys want. This volume, that's just for your headset. So yes, you guys can plug in a headphone right there and just adjust the volume from right there. So in order to set up our microphone, just make sure it's hooked up right now to our USB port or USB-C with an adapter. Do not use hubs. Hubs make this not work properly. And then we're gonna have to go into system preferences. So on our Macs, we should see system preferences down here below. Or if you don't see it, don't worry. On the top right hand corner, you guys will see the spotlight search and just look for system preferences. Once we open up system preferences, you will see all these options. And our fourth option down here below will be sound. So just click on sound. Under sound, without installing anything, anything, no drivers, nothing, no programs, you will see these two options, internal microphone, which is what I'm using right now, and then Yeti stereo microphone. So right now what I'm gonna do is just click on Yeti stereo microphone. Once I click on my Yeti stereo microphone, which is what I just clicked on right now, I will, maybe some of you might have touched the mute on your microphone itself. So if you guys see a red blinking light on your microphone on the front, then that on top of that it says mute. So just click on it again to unmute it, and that way you guys will see that it, this is working. And how do you guys know this is working? Well, you will see input levels right here, and I can see when I'm talking, this is actually doing that. And I can adjust any sensitivity levels like doing so, or I can turn it down like so, like right now. So what I suggest is keeping it usually around there or if you guys want, right there. And yes, there's other things that we can mess around with our microphone, which I'm gonna show you up next. 
But right now, you're basically done your setup within your computer. Now, additional things you might want to set up in your room are like these things right here. So you won't get that echo that you're actually hearing right now. This is a new setup for a studio. So that's why we don't have these set up just yet, but we will put them all the way around and also get a pop filter like so to help you out with the sound. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.